you wrote, among other things, Go Your Own Way and Secondhand News. Mm -hmm. What were you saying to Stevie? Well, I think both of those are basically saying, hey, you know, um, I'm, I'm resigned to whatever happens, but, you know, it's a damn shame. Uh, it, and it's, it's not what I want. Uh, and that, I think that's, that's really about it, you know. Uh, I, actually, secondhand news, at least it has a little bit of tongue-in-cheek humor in it where, because it's basically saying, <laughs> as a contingency, if you ever get lonely, you know, uh, um, I, I, I'm, I'm always willing to proposition you. <laughs> <laughs> What is your relationship with Stevie today? How would you describe it? Well, you know, I've known Stevie again since I was about 16. Um, it's interesting. I, I think that you would think after all these years there would be nothing left to work on. But oddly enough, Stevie's and my relationship is still a work in progress. And I guess that says something, doesn't it, about uh, the care, about possibly the parallel motives that have driven us down the roads that we've been on. And, um, and I have uh, nothing but respect and, and love for Stevie, and I hope she feels that way about me as well.